It's VHS X. What do you mean? You know, there's a lot of quitters that we encounter in, in this game that we play at Dead by Daylight. And go and against Ghostface makes it even more hilarious. Welcome to today's video. We're playing some Ghostface in about three matches where we're going to see all quitters. So for those people who love seeing that as much as I do, this is the video for you, man. Um, so right off the bat here, you're going to notice that uh, we get some stalking in pretty quickly. Um, we try to uh, get as close as we can. I realize that within my position, he doesn't have to necessarily move. Because keep in mind, they have third person camera and they can fully conceal their themselves without me being able to st uh, stalk at all. So that's why I decided to walk towards him. And just go for the regular M1. There was no way I could have possibly gotten more stuff. It just really wasn't. So that's why we just got to completely uh, go straight for the chase as soon as possible. He gets finessed. And uh, we immediately can go ahead and hook him. Right next to us, too. We don't really have any gens that we need to defend. So that's why we're just immediately hooking um, right about there. Now we notice the gen all the way in the distance. I actually broke myself out of shroud because I didn't. Uh, I realized that the item had an angle on, on uh, where I was. So I just quickly swung out. Uh, to put it back off a of cooldown. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but you have Olsen's Wallet. You could break that wall. I'm not breaking that wall. I'm not. <laughs> that wall right there is going to stay up. Because keep in mind that they can use that open doorway to, to rotate right back up the stairs again. Uh, multiple times without you being able to reach anything. So, if you keep that door closed, they don't have that as an option. So, they can't rotate in from that side of the map. They'll have to completely go all the way around and then run inside to get to those stairs. So you see here now we're you know they, they immediately start giving up and quitting and pulling the pulling on the uh, hook, and that's what we use to our advantage. And then you're gonna see here I lean off of the generator because I can, and we just go ahead and kick it. Now even though they're ki they're quitting, they're giving up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna relieve any of the any of the pressure because we need to stay on them. I want them eliminated as soon as possible. So as you see, all he just immediately goes on the gen and gives up, and that gives me the opportunity to then get him out of the game. So what I did was, I put him on this back corner of the map where basically there's nothing there. Um, and he can just go ahead and uh, perish. And we can keep him moving. Because I figure that's not a hook, I'm really not, really not going to use that hook. And I also placed down the droplet because I realized I wasn't really, I didn't really care about the, the location of it. So that lock then blocks the gen with, that, uh, with the most progress. That gives us information. We realized that the Nancy is probably going to be around the area because that gen had uh, a decent amount of progress. Not a lot, but a, a small amount. Um, maybe 25% of the generator. So from here, we realize, okay, we're going to just kind of, we already have like a good, uh, you know, gen spread. We're going to climb up top to see if maybe we find anybody. We don't. We keep moving. Um, now we just kind of, uh, we go around. We break some walls, you know, do our thing. We just kind of keep getting an eye out. Gotta get, like, catch and get to the sight. Of a survivor, so that's what we're trying to do. Now we drop down. We're like, all right, cool, cool, cool. You know, what I'm saying we could just make our way over here. Start leaning off of this. So they kind of gave up. So then we just knocked them down. So that's another quitter. That's pretty good for me. Um, it doesn't let me pick up, so we're just gonna have to hit the gen first. Um, and then we immediately just go ahead and hook them next to the generator. We defend the generator. Now we also know that there was somebody else in this area. That's why we uh, we start grabbing the droplet and putting it back down get our BP up, because this was actually before I got the P100 Ghost Phase, uh, during the event. So this was actually one of the uh, one of those matches um, before I was close. So that's why we're like trying to like kind of lean off of here. Depending on how much, because you see like how I'm leaning, this is an actually pretty good uh, lean there. Um, you can seal yourself without still, without both, uh, you can seal yourself while being able to, um, you know, not be revealed, uh, while also stalking or whatever. So anyway, um, overall we're like, okay, we're getting revealed from like two different directions, so that's why we try to stay in cover, the, another quitter. We're just constantly crouching to, to re you know, reduce the duration of the, like the timer, if you will, of the reveal, because it does have like a certain sound that you're going to listen to, it'll like kind of get louder as the more you get closer to being revealed. So of course we mark them here, they're going to try to pallet drop, it's not going to work. We, we got stuck on a rock though, but that gives me the opportunity to continue the chase, which... Regardless of what they tried to do, which I knew they were going to try to free drop, I already knew they were thinking they were going to stun somebody, it's not going to work that way, so that's why we get a little bit more stuck on Nancy, but we let them go save because we can actually focus on the save um, and start to get more uh, get more points and obviously get more downs and more hooks and all that other stuff, all the fancy stuff that, we were, that we're looking for. Um, Nancy's trying to brute force, uh, you know, getting downed, I guess, we're not really worried about them. 
Um, cause keep in mind that we don't even have our power charge, so that's why we, we take this stun so we can immediately get this pallet out, have Spirit Fury active, have our power active. And then I figure, well, we could probably go after the Cheryl cause they did quit, so that's obviously another free down. So, of course, yep, they give up as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, so you have a lot of quitters, you know what I'm saying? The f right off the five, 4 or 5 gen mark, we already had a quitter, so that already gives us plenty, plenty to work with. Um, we knew they were probably going to Sabo or something like that, so that's why we just ran past that generator. Um, and then we have, I mean that generator, that hook. We obviously get rid of Cheryl now. Now we can go in, uh, eh, got an M1, you know, we, we can't really stalk there. Um, especially because we don't have anywhere to lean off, so we're going to be stalking, even with Philly, so kind of stuck. That's why we want to... Uh, I delight here, got stuck on the wall, <laughs> um, but I figured they weren't going to loop anyway, they, they never do, so that's why we uh, we go around this way, now we have Spirit Fury, this is how we do it, you know, we wait till we can uh, get value on it, they're like, like waiting for no reason, that gives me the opportunity to get a quick down, and then from there, I can then shift my focus to this generator to go ahead and pick it, and we can go find Nancy, which would be the idea. So, now we find Nancy, we mark them, awesome, we still have Spirit Fury active, we can continue to follow them regardless of whichever pal they decide to go for it pretty much guarantees the down they do end up getting a window so we just go right around it and as a result of that they had lied they fly off doesn't really matter um they're more than likely gonna try to go for the pickup more than likely that's pretty much a given so that's why we want to uh you know break the pallet there keep them zoned because they they don't have anywhere to go so the, the, the that's why we specifically broke it to keep them toward the back corner of the map and then we just easily get the down and we can eliminate um, both these survivors um, and finish off one of the quitter matches. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Which I forgot to mention that the Sable actually DC'd. I was busy talking about some other stuff. I didn't even realize that she DC'd after I downed her in the video. Um, but hey, I mean, at least I was, uh, at least I'm acknowledging it now. So, <laughs> so that's why we, we hooked Nancy first. Um, now, Probably they're gonna get a 4%. That's why we don't immediately uh, like hook But also we have to find the sable first, but you know, but while we're doing that, you know, we'd let the we let them kind of get the second state first and then We go for the hook So that, those are the builds now we can jump into the next gameplay. We're on Mount Ormond Resort I'm not sure if they actually sent me to this map in this gameplay, but either way it was still uh, Still pretty good I would say. So as you can see, we start off the bat, we usually run our same exact build, um, mainly because this is just what works for me. They had a survivor actually spawn um, actually in front of me, which was a little bit strange. I'm not sure what's going on with the spawns, but uh, either way, we're able to try to get, a, get our ability going here. Um, I figured it's not really worth attempting to actually continue stalking because we're just in the middle of the open. We keep him zoned here because you know that he wants to try to make his way to Shack. That's what they always do. So if we can clear out another pallet, that'll be really good for us. That gets our Spirit Fury charged. Um, as you can see, we keep pushing him toward the back corner of the map. I try to swing through to, to bait him to drop it. Because ideally, I want him to drop it um, on my head, preferably. So I can get rid of the uh, pallet. Um, but he's really adamant on trying to play it. So that's why we just go around it. And uh, that's how we're thinking. I can probably just bloodlust it. Which gives me the opportunity to just go ahead and down him. You know, that's just what we wanted. We wanted the pallet anyway, but he wanted to make it difficult. So that's why we just go ahead and use our uh, our uh, speed, little speed there to give us a little extra bit of a down. And then we can immediately start to place him. I, would, I didn't want to put him toward the shack side. It would be way too easy for him to take advantage of that. So the next best thing is this hook in the middle. Um, closer to the corner of the map, away from most of the resources. Um, I felt was the better choice. And uh, as per usual, they end up knocking out a gen immediately, so that's it's a good thing I had gotten the uh, hook when I did. Um, now, with Ormond, you're more than likely having to take control of the center. If you can get hold on to that gen and a couple of gens around it, you're pretty much going to be in a great spot. Um, I was trying to more so chill in this match. I was just trying to just, you know, get my BP up and, and chill. But clearly, you know, you're not allowed to do that in Dead by Daylight. So that's why we're here. Uh, as you can see, we're stalking as much as we can. I wasn't really, uh, I don't really have enough time to try to crouch and, and lean because I had a feeling that uh, they were going to fly in for the save very soon. So I had figured I would need to stay uh, pretty alert, just stay within range, just try to keep my power, you know, cooldown ready, keep Jake behind me, and we focus on whoever's over here because I know the save is going to rotate around maybe the hill um, while Jake closes in from the right side. As you, and as I predicted. So we leave them there, they're gonna try to, oh, you can hit me, hit me, but you're not, you're not gonna fall for that because we continue to focus on where this guy is going. And notice that they're gonna fly into you when they have endurance. Don't fall for that BS, you know what I'm saying? 
Because they, the only reason any survivor will run directly into you is either A, they have endurance, or B, they don't know what they're doing. So in most cases, just assume it's endurance, okay? So that's why you don't swing at that. It, it, it's the same thing with like FOV techs, just don't swing. Unless you're experienced. Now, unfortunately, the first gen that did go off was the center gen, so we kind of, uh, you know, had a little bit of shambles for that. But we are in a great position. We got the same person on the hook again. Um, they, are, uh, they actually gave up, so that was already quitter number one. So that was awesome. So this is yet again another entry in this video for the quitters video. <laughs> so you got to compile the, the, the quitters we've had throughout the event. And uh, it's very fun. For, very fun for me. One of my favorite things in the game, honestly, is when they quit. So as you see there, we, we know where Sable is. We have Spirit Fury charged. We're going to try to get her stocked up as much as possible. That is the idea. Now, we're, we're not completely marking yet. You notice that. I 99, but I want to make sure I'm right on her when I expose so that she doesn't gain as much distance. If I, if I had marked all the way from up top, she would have made it across the map and would have been able to uh, make a lot happen. But as you can see here, because I, had, I was actually trying to press the prompt um, there, which is fine. Got the pickup pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty easy. This is why I constantly say, use your ability as ghost face. Stop two hitting people. You're wasting time. You can easily get fast downs. Um, applying even more pressure to really accentuate, you know, ghost face's strengths. Because you're, you're going around two hitting is wasting time. I also forgot to mention the Jake DC'd. <laughs> While I'm busy like talking and yapping, the Jake did DC. <laughs> and then Sable did just DC's right after. It's great! I love it. I love it. It's awesome. This is the <laughs> this is another great one. Where the whole team was just was just gone already. <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> they weren't ready for it, man. I'm pretty sure they sent me to the map and they were trying to rush out the gens, if I'm not mistaken. They weren't ready for it, man. They they come in there, you know what I'm saying? They come in there with the, with their intentions, but they 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 can't take the heat, don't go to the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't get in there, man. <laughs> So we're doing all right. Now the bot. This is actually, I think, pre patched before the bots uh, were updated to have um, to not have the wall hacks. So uh, we're at least able to uh, just quickly go for the extended lunge. Um, the Davis is just kind of standing there. We just M1 and why not? We don't, I don't know why he's standing there for, but uh, that's why we immediately use our spirit fury to just knock his goofy ass down. And then we just use that our opportunity to start getting up some uh, some blood points. That's why we just get around this one. We put him on the hook. You know, yada yada yada, and uh, we just try to maximize the blood point game. That's why we're trying to uh, hook everybody at least once and stuff like that. Because it's you know it's a blood point event, and this was also before I had reached P100. So matches like these where I'm able to really maximize my blood point gain that really helped out on my road to uh, the P100. Uh, go says. Now, as you're gonna see here, we then go after the Jake bot, you know what I'm saying? Which we don't have Spirit of Fury, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, regardless, we still have Enduring to hold us um, against the uh, the ludicrousness of the uh, pallets in this game. So, now, that's why we, uh, we, this is one of the things I would actually do against bots, which is because of the wall hack abilities and stuff like that. You get them to kind of vault a bunch until it actually blocks the, the window for you. Now, thankfully, we might not have to do that as much. Now, I left the Jake bot there because I realized that I can probably just go ahead and, get, you know, get some more points, get the gen, do all that kind of stuff. Go ahead and hook maybe David or something because they haven't received the hook yet. Place down some droplets. Like, you know, you really got to take advantage of situations like this, which, of course, the bot does end up dying. So that's good. And now we just don't go ahead and get Jake. Uh, oh, Jake. Is it David? David? Jake, whatever. We get David to put, a, to put him on the hook and stuff like that. We just, we just make our way out, you know, just do our thing. So we're diving into the third match for the video today, another set of quitters. And I thought I'd just put them all together in a little video here for you guys, I think it'd be very entertaining. So we spawn on the top of the, um, the Dead Dog Saloon, we start making our way around. We notice that uh, this guy is kind of hopping and skipping his way to a gen, he's ready to go having a glass in his game. And immediately gets one shot down at the very start, and he immediately DCs. <laughs> Probably like the like the just the DC speed run at this point. Like I, I never had a DC so much faster than that. <laughs> and I knew that it was an Allen here as well. This is actually when Allen Wake actually just like like dropped. Um, like when he first came out, um, we had gotten this one. So I was really holding on to this <laughs> this video for a little bit. Um, but I'm really glad to say that I like I was able to uh, really t you know bear witness to one of the funniest uh, DCs I've ever had. 
And uh, now we're just defending the, the hook now because, we, you know, despite having the pressure, we don't want to let it go. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time when you have uh, a pressure, you may end up letting go of it because you're thinking you're going to win anyway. And it's not, it's not always something you can do um, with a character like Ghostface where it's like you, if you have pressure, you need to maintain control of it because any slip up can cost you um, at the higher uh, levels, obviously. Like once you really win a lot of your matches with Ghostface, you're going to know, you know, you can't really make as many slip ups. Um, because he's not a very, he's not a character that really is super forgiving when it comes to uh, making a mistake because he doesn't really have a lot of options there. Now, I did a nice little like M1 uh, mind game there. I was very proud of that, I would say, looking back at it now. That was pretty cool. I like that a little finesse. I might have to throw that in there, you know, into my uh, special P100 video. So I started crouching there to try to give me some time to get some more stock in, but I just didn't have the opportunity. <laughs> I tried though. I definitely tried, but I didn't have the opportunity to do so. Um, now what we can do here is that we actually climb up the stairs to push them off of the building. And uh, realistically, yep, that's what I was thinking I was going to do. Mm -hmm. Smart move on my part. I went to immediately break down the wall um, because it gives me more points and it helps recharge my ability, so I'll have it uh, when I need it. Keep in mind that uh, the main building on Dead Dog is really not a, a building you really want to be in anyway. Like, because they can, like, you even if you're shrouded, they can, the angle they have on that gen, they can watch you climb all the way up from the top. Um, now, I marked the, uh, the bot uh, in order to uh, just get some more points, really. Like, I was like, yeah, the bot's probably going to be dead on hook anyway. I don't care. We break down this pallet as well just to get some more points and get their power back again, get Spirit Fury, multiple multiple reasons to break that pallet so we go we start trying to rotate around the other way because i know the bot at this time had the uh, wall hacks and stuff like that so they do know where i'm going to be um and then the bot is obviously going to run to the next resource um or run to the next like safe location or the next window like they were kind of programmed um to be uh you know doing those specific things. So thankfully they made a bad vault so that does mean i can obviously get the bot out of the game like you know assuming that they did reach second state they probably didn't because they probably caught it at the very last second um yeah which they did of course now that's another fumble uh on my part i would say like i probably could have been a little bit more aggressive with defending the uh the thing there but as you can see i was trying to lean off the gen but i just didn't get the right angle so that was a fumble yeah so keep in mind this definitely um is not uh my peak i would say when it comes to my ability but as you can see my, at least my my power management was definitely up there because i was the, i was really just making sure that i had a wall ready to go every time i needed my power and then this is where you'll see like i'm slowly stalking we're keeping it fast because keep in mind you slow down when you start st when you press down the stalk button so you don't want to you don't want to hinder yourself for too long um in order to make sure that you get the uh you get the distance you need so they finally did a generator. He's gonna. He's just going around pre-dropping. That's usually what they do when they when they're quitters. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, live of course. Um, you know why wouldn't it be? They always have to pop a perk instead of actually learning how to loop. So it makes sense. So he goes down pretty quickly. I mean, it's <laughs> if you didn't have that perk, even faster. Um, but uh, either way, I figured why not just, just hook him right over here. It really doesn't matter. You already know uh, where the rest of them probably are. I would have to say. Um, now, now I'm just taking a look around. I think I was looking for a wall to break again, um, but now we actually see the bot uh, trying. Which, as you can see here, I actually start marking the Jake a bit because you never know. Like a lot of the time, they'll like 99 their heal. Um, that's why I always recommend mark, like at least marking up a reveal a uh, injured survivor because even though you're like, oh, they're injured, I'm just gonna go after them. You know, you don't know, right? Because if they have a med kit or or you know maybe some kind of like resilience and they're trying to like. Uh, 99 their heal and stuff like that that m1 will basically mean nothing so that's why i highly recommend um mark like at least 99ing those people now we're gonna mark up this injured survivor only so that i'm able to get some more points as well as figure out um if they also have their thing uh, 99 which they have a, they had a toolbox so they just go down immediately i'm really just kind of uh i would consider this the playing with your food type of play, uh, type of match because we, i really wasn't uh too focused on on uh on winning that much anymore because i already knew i was going to win anyway so i already was very confident in my ability um in uh with ghostface at this at this point um they do go for a vault so that's why we kind of like fake it there go a little bit around there i probably could have faked it a little bit better than that but thankfully because it's like this shack is very unsafe um considering the fact that 
I broke down that wall. That's something I highly recommend doing. Um, is always breaking down that wall. Now, as you're gonna see here, he tries to start a. Uh, he tries to use that like long range um, prompt to drop the pallet, and that's why Spirit Fury um, and Enduring is like just my favorite combo for this uh, for playing Ghostface because it just works out um, when you, they have a ton of God pallets they can just kind of utilize in every map, every map, every all at all times. You can just eliminate that as an option. Now we mark up the Jake again. Why? I was just flexing at that point. I didn't. Really, I didn't really care. Now, as you see, he's running towards me because he does have endurance. You already know he does. So that's why I was waiting a second, trying to get the the down right on time. You know, you want to make sure you time it just right so you can easily get the down um, very quickly. Immediately pick him up. Really doesn't matter. They do pop another gen. I already knew that was coming. They love to think that uh, that's gonna magically be like their saving grace. It's really not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he gets eliminated finally you know as like pretty much on schedule as you kind of want um now we just go ahead and chase the alan this time because he does seem like he's pretty lost a lot of the alans when they were first out like when alan wake was first dropping and this is the same thing with sable even like recently like usually when i see um them using the the, the current <laughs> like new survivor i'm like yeah they're gonna get folded it's like a given i knew it was coming so that's why we started leaning but i realized that's jake uh Jake is not really, uh, he's still marked, so I can't really, you know, mark again until it's over, so. I figure, why not? I'm just gonna place him over here toward the back side over uh, on this side of the map by the Glenville sign. Why not? You know, for fun, get him out of the game. And all that's left now is the bot and also Jake. So, usually when there's a bot in the lobby, here's the fun part I like to do. When there's a bot in the lobby, I'll try to find uh the injured survivor and uh usually because of the way the bots are programmed they'll always go for the save so what i would do is i would try to down the uh the injured survivor um put them on the hook and then i would just get the bot to just go save every single time um for fun um just so that i can like take get a mori or like get the extra bp from from the extra hooks and stuff like that um, now we know the bot, this is gonna see me like doing here, like I'm doing a lot of crouching and, and sidestepping to uh, avoid the reveal, but the bots are, are extremely accurate when they go for reveals and stuff like that, so it's very hard to, um, to easily get the, uh, get the, you know, mark in there when they can kind of see you and you can't see them, that's why you see me crouch a lot, like I'll go up and down, you know what I'm saying, like a, like whack-a-mole, just so I'm able to just get, uh, what I'm looking for. Which now, as you're gonna see here, I just honestly went for the down on the bot this time, just because I figured, you know, I just want to uh, end the match already. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll probably cut forward because I think I think he was hiding, if I'm not mistaken. So this was definitely the peak of the survivor pettiness because I was at least able to, um, you know, stay on the hatch with undetectable. They just actively did not even try to look for the hatch, um, and they decided to go for uh, the door. So that's why I was like, let me just go for my stalk here and immediately go make sure they're exposed and just one shot them. Because I'm glad he understood, like, you know, you're not getting out of this for free. Like, you know, he, he hid um, for a very long time. The survivor, the, uh, the bot was going to die. I hooked them and then I waited on the hatch too. He didn't go for it. So like at this point, I was just glad to get him out of the game. He didn't deserve to escape. So as you can see here, you know, I got him out of the game. You know, we can live peacefully <laughs> knowing that he got he got eliminated. So that being said, thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, leave a like, comment, subscribe to all the YouTube things for me. Become a member for exclusive content, exclusive coaching. Um, and also join the Discord, link in the description. And you can also submit your gameplays to be reviewed so you can, you can improve at playing killer. Um, and also also help educate, um, you know, other like new uh, killers that want to also improve at their games as well. That being said, thank you all for showing up and all the support, and I'll see you in the next one.